in this video I'm going to be talking. I know I've been doing a lot of videos lately where I just speed through the video and let the music play and that's because a lot of times when I do my makeup it is for me to just de-stress and everything so um, that's why um, some of the times I don't do that. I have on a dress um, in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> I've already done another look. Um, I'm actually going to do a look with each of these palettes because I'm so curious to see how these things blend. I just love Morphe. I love Jaclyn Hill. And anytime they have a collaboration, I get my hands all over it. So this is the colors in this palette. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen these palettes. Um, I'm just late doing my review. Um, so please forgive me for those of you who are actually waiting for me to do this review um, so you can see if you want to get this palette. Y'all don't mind my wig. It's time for me to get another one made. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to make one or if I'm going to get someone to do it for me. Um, the same um, people who braided my hair, they also make wigs. So I'm thinking about um, getting her to make me a wig. I just haven't decided yet. So. Let's see. As always, I have no clue what I'm doing, um, nor what I'm using. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I really love the fact that these mirrors are so tiny. Like I have small hands, so I really love how I can just hold it with no problems, hold the mirror towards my face, like all of that. So that's um, some things I'm really, really, really excited about. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is Access, which is this color right here. I'm going to go in this with this color, like all in the transition area, which is this area right here. So I hope y'all can see this color because this color is very light on my skin tone. I have gotten a really, really, really good tan, y'all, this summer. And not because I've been outside all the time in the summer, but because um, my husband and I wanted to take the kids to the water park because all summer we just had a lot going on. So my husband was um, wanting to take us all to the water park. So that's what we did. And we spent like the entire, entire day out there, like entire day. Cause we felt so bad that we didn't take our kids to do anything for the summer because we usually do but because of all the change and stuff we had going on in our life um it was hard to do so So this color is not as dark as what I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with Secure, which is this color right here. Getting ready to start really trying to incorporate more of skincare into my face and my skin when I'm doing my makeup. Because sometimes my skin does weird things. Like it's so dry and sometimes I notice depending on what kind of day it is when I do my makeup, mainly my foundation. I noticed that my skin just don't look right underneath my uh, makeup. So I want to start incorporating um, skincare routine. So let me know down below in like the comment section, like what's some good skincare products? Cause I'm like so clueless. I don't know nothing about no skincare except for like Olay, Neutrogena, Chlorelle, um, you know, clean and clear <laughs> and under control, you know, type of stuff. So. I really want to invest in some um, face um, creams and serums and eye creams and stuff like that. So, y'all, please don't be holding out on me. Let your sister know. Y'all know when I first started doing makeup, I was always so scared to go up this high on my eyes. Um, until I started going back and seeing makeup looks when I didn't go this high and you never I never really could see my transition color so I started trying to practice more with going higher and now like 
it looks so good in pictures and like I really really love like how it looks when I go this high because if you go too high and you touch your brows you can always go back in with a concealer and clean that up so I'm just going back in with access just to kind of make this color look more like a, a orangey yellow so So now I'm going to go in with the color Top Secret and I don't ever go in with colors like this in my um, transition area just as a transition shade but I have something in mind that I want on my eyes so I'm going to run with that. I'm going to go in with my Y19 Morphe brush and I'm just going to really 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 lightly but heavily soak just like at the tip of the brush, like that. Tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna stay here very, very low. Cause I don't wanna go up too high, but I don't wanna be too low to where you're not gonna be able to see this color with the lid color that I'm going in with, so. And I'm staying like, I'm pretty much just rounding out like my eyeball and just letting whatever piece of the brush touch the top. And these eyeshadows are not at all like her other eyeshadows that she came out with. Like I know this is called like the vault, but from those other shadows, like the colors she didn't, um, the colors she didn't leave, I mean the colors she didn't pick to go into the palette, but like I don't know if y'all can see, and I'm not trying to like be, jump on the bandwagon and get on all these people cases that's on here talking bad about this palette, um, because anything that's affordable and cheap in makeup, like I don't care how bad it blends or whatever, like if I don't think it's all that horrible, I'm finna use it. And like if it's something that's really really bad like that I feel like I need to return I'm gonna return it like I don't care what like what brand it is I don't give a dang who it is like you know what I mean like they ain't paying my bills um and even if they were I'm still gonna be honest you know what I mean I'm blending but it's like very very like especially right here it's like very very patchy and this is my first time using this palette. Like I never touched any of the palettes yet that I haven't did a makeup look on because I really just want to like see for what it really is. And like this color is definitely finna piss me off. Maybe I need a different brush, let's see. And I'm, I'm not talking about this part right here. I'm talking about like trying to blend that color in to the other color. I forgot which color did that on this other palette, but I can fix that. I'm gonna go in with this um, Dare to Create palette. So I'm gonna go back in with this brush and I'm gonna go in with this color right here. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I packed color on there. Like, I don't know. Oh, well. And I was gonna buy an extra one to do, like, a giveaway. But, um, I wanted to go through with the palettes first and see how I felt, like, about the eyeshadows. And so far, from the last palette that I used, and this one, and now this one is not allowing this color to act right. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with secure and try to see if I can secure this to look a little better. I think that's all I'm gonna do with this color. Like I really thought it was gonna go on a lot darker and um, 
everything. But I don't think I don't want I don't want to get go this far and like mess up the rest of my look. So I'm just gonna leave what I have on here and try to see if I still can create the look that I was going for. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm like not impressed like by this collection. Like the colors, like, and it's not all the colors, it's just some of them. But you know when you buy something you really want to, um, you really have hope that like everything is gonna work the way that it's supposed to, you know what I mean? So, it's all good in the hood. I'm charged it to the game. I ain't finna do all that returning stuff and all of that. Um, especially when I haven't really just sat here and just did multiple different looks from from the palette. So I'm gonna go in with classified. I'm gonna go in with classified, which is here. And then I'm also gonna go in with coin, which is up here. But I'm gonna go with classified first. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all both of those colors up close before I actually go in with them so classified I want to why does it feel so dry Look at that. I don't know if y'all can tell, but like I'm digging in this palette to try to get this color. Okay, now it's coming off right. Like it's just so dull. And the brush is not taking it off at all. Like look. I really just wanted to put this color right here. I'm probably making a huge mistake. A huge mistake. By putting this on. Let me see if I spray it. Oh well. It feel like I'm not even rubbing anything off. Okay, now I'm getting some color. Okay, I see what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to spray my finger because the brush is not working at all. And put it on there. I mean, I expected more than this. spray my finger before with a foiled eyeshadow like never okay screw that color let's see how coin acts okay coin okay I should have never even messed with that other color this video is not a fail <laughs> coin is so gorgeous Ooh. it kind of reminds me of trophy wife okay I'm happy again y'all I was secretly getting discouraged because this was actually the reason why I wanted to get this collection was this palette right here like all the other ones I didn't really just like want to be in a rush to get but I got them but it's all good okay so now I'm gonna go in go back in with secure on a different kind of brush because I really want to bring the pigment up here to kind of take away from the green color since it's not performing to the best of its abilities. <sighs> I 
And now I'm gonna go in with Smooth Criminal, which is this color right here. And I'm really finna focus that color like out here to the edge. Cause I'm gonna darken this up too, so. Just once again, I'm trying to go over this green, not to completely try to cover it up, but to really just kind of like mute it out a little bit and mix it in with by blending out other colors around it to kind of just let it look like it's blending in, but not really. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this color right here, and this color is called Prowl. Prowl. Okay, and we're gonna go back in with Secure and blend all these colors in together. Then I'm gonna go back in with Coin, but this time I'm gonna take it on a brush. I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take Guilt Trip and VIP and just kind of mix those two together in hopes that they act right. And of course, I'm gonna go back in with these two colors at the end and really Make sure they pop. I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and everything off camera and give y'all my final thoughts about all of this. I didn't wanna make these videos more about foundation cause I really wanna just, whenever I'm reviewing eyeshadow palettes, I like really want to focus just on eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera and come back on here. Okay y'all, so this is my finished look. Like I actually am really excited about how it came out. Um, I wasn't too excited about how, it, how much it took for me to blend. Um, this palette actually, a lot of the colors in here actually sucked. Like I'm not even going to lie, like the only color that I really care for in this palette was coin and that's the color that I have on my lid like this color was so creamy it was so soft so buttery so easy to apply with your finger or a brush um girl trip also that's what I have in my inner corner VIP is still a little chalky um it's also a chalky um what am I trying to say it's a chalky full shadow as well this color right here was one of my favorite colors in this palette but I feel like I feel like whenever I'm touching it I feel like I'm not touching anything like the pale is like so poor like this color just mm -mm. like I know this color could have been a whole lot more vibrant than that um so this one is a no-go for me I will be using this palette again I'm gonna be using all these palettes again I just really wanted to um, try out all of these palettes because, uh, like I told y'all, I really, really love Morphe. Like, Morphe had, it's like majority of the makeup that I own is from Morphe. Um, out of all the eyeshadow palettes I have, the majority is Morphe. Um, I love when her and, um, I love when Morphe and Jacqueline Hill, Jacqueline Hill collaborate. Um, it's just this collaboration didn't do it for me. Um, I did see a lot of reviews and everything before I ordered these palettes, but I still wanted to do it because I know how negative people can be and how people can just really be, you know, just like over the top, you know, when they describing things. So I was like, you know what, let me just get it for myself, see how it is, see how I like it. And so far, this 
out of all the palettes so far that I use, which is only Bling Boss and Armed and Gorgeous. Not Bling Boss, y'all. I keep talking about Bling Boss, but I really mean Ring the Alarm. It's the one that I'm trying to say. So Ring the Alarm, this palette right here. Um, I know I talked about that other one. I keep getting those two mixed up because I actually wanted to do a makeup look using the Bling Boss first. But um, I forgot what happened. I think I was wearing something different that day and I wanted to like incorporate something with what I was wearing. So that's why I didn't. But with this palette right here, like this, this um, shadow is creamy. This shadow is creamy. And so is this one. Like all three of these shadows like did really well. The only colors that did not do it well for me was these three palettes right here. Siren, Mugshot, and Framed. Oh, and Alert. This one, Secret, um, was really buttery and creamy. Um, it's just this one felt really chalky. This one felt really dry and chalky. And so did this one. Like it feels just really like just and i'm not going to show y'all the swatches because it's no point when i'm telling y'all like they really don't perform well um i'm only saying this because i know a lot of people come to me asking me for my review on things so that's why i'm even coming over here and doing this i really don't like like saying negative stuff um about something that i purchased just because i don't want to seem like mean or rude or anything you know like they like about the company or anything but i have to realize that i have to be I have to be more outspoken and um, transparent whenever it comes to like things that I'm using because um, I know whenever I was watching YouTube, I always used to want recommendations on things that I was looking for and wanting to purchase. So, um, especially when I was learning a lot about makeup, so I have to like remind myself of that um, just because I'm on the other side now. Even though I'm still a beginner, now that I'm on the other side, I see how when people say they really don't want to talk bad about things, I see how like they feel because like I literally don't want to say anything bad about it. But I will only be fooling myself and fooling y'all. Um, if I didn't like come on here and like speak my thoughts on things that I try new um, A lot of the stuff that y'all know I like like I use it all the time in a lot of my videos when I do my makeup so I'm um, the things that I like and I thought about doing maybe like favorites videos um, Like stuff that's my favorite, but I thought maybe no one would want to see that because I mean if it's my favorite Y'all see me use it all the time in videos and to be honest. I don't think it's you know doing one every month if I like the last month nine times out of nine times out of ten I'm gonna like it the next month so yeah I get what I'm saying but um if there's something y'all want to see um even if it's just like a few people I'll do that because I always am around here telling people like my favorites of things that I really really like so um so um, I don't mind coming on camera and telling you guys as well. So I told y'all I'm back on my grind. I'm back on wanting to post all the time, wanting to come on here and talk to y'all all the time. And um, I just really wanted to just come on here and do a talking, doing my makeup tutorial, a talking makeup tutorial because I'm so quick to like just speed through. It makes editing so freaking easy, like so freaking easy. <laughs> But I need to understand like I love the connection more than anything like because with those it's like I'm doing it and I'm posting it and then it's like I really like it's stuff that I be wanting to tell y'all stuff that I be wanting to talk about while I'm doing my makeup um, even though sometimes I'm still just kind of a little private with what I'm going through um, my weight loss journey um, series is where I really feel more comfortable like talking about everything because I know not everybody that come on here watching me do makeup want to hear about my problems and my issues and whatever, you know what I'm saying, what I'm going through in life. So that's why like on my um, on my weight loss series um, episodes, like those are the ones when I feel more vulnerable. I feel like I can like let my hair down, be comfortable, speak my mind because I don't know, I just feel like, you know, people come there for motivation. And then people come there to so you to motivate them so it's just easier like knowing it in your head versus when i'm doing makeup um and mukbangs it's just kind of like some let's chill and eat together or let's chill do our makeup and talk you know makeup beauty hair related things like that so um sometimes i do slip up and just be talking about stuff whenever i'm doing my makeup but 
let me stop talking because I don't want this video to be a thousand gazillion minutes long and I know y'all ain't trying to sit here and see and listen to me talk about nonsense so um until next time I love y'all so much please in the comment section y'all um come talk to me like um as soon as I upload this video as soon as I upload all my videos like I always stick around for a few hours just to like um respond and comment back to you guys and um I really, 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 really love hearing you guys' thoughts and stuff. So um, definitely meet me at the comment section once you watch this video. And until next time, I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in another video. Bye.